Hi everyone, this is Melissa Bondi. We are here at the Ann Arbor Art Fair 2023 and I am joined right now by Paul King who's got an awesome tent right here. You bet. Paul, this is so cool. We're gonna take a look at the art here in a second but let's get a little bit from you okay. and what brought you here and why are you so talented? <laughs> well, I was born with a talent so I can't claim it. And uh, I do 18 shows uh, during the art show season in Michigan. And this one is the biggest, obviously, event. It's the number one in the, in the state. Are you, um, where'd you come from? Uh, Traverse City. Okay. And so this is not your first time here, right? No. You said, yep. No, this is not my uh, first rodeo. <laughs> so these are hand-drawn Yes, they're celebrity, right. musical celebrities. Yes, they are not photographs at all. They're all hand drawn from scratch. And I have a uh, digital airbrush program. So I draw these on my computer. And then from that file, I print to these. And these are all Jacle art reproduction prints. These are very, very neat. Yeah. Um, any favorite pieces that you uh, really favor and enjoy? Well, they're kind of all my children. Okay, sure. So people ask me that all the time. I have my personal favorites, but okay. then people that come into the booth, you know, uh, customers, they they have their own choice and who sure. their favorite musician is. So it's, what, it's kind of up to them. What do you think um, the hot ones this year are going to be? Uh, do they change every year, or is it no, the same? No, it's it's uh, well, obviously Taylor Swift is hot. Mm -hmm. And I just got done doing two portraits of her. Okay. And, um, but basically, anything on my back back wall is most popular. Sure. And then the side walls is kind of second tier. Okay. And um, I've drawn over 500 musicians now. Wow. So I have quite a catalog. Okay. Anyone you have not drawn that you are oh, everybody. going? Oh, yeah. People want tool. <laughs> and um, who else? Almond Brothers. Well, the, the problem with the bands, it takes me about 10 days okay. t to draw a band. Oh, yeah. So I typically draw my bands in the winter. And uh, I don't have a lot of time in the summer with all the shows. Okay. Well, Paul, I want to wish you luck this weekend. Thank you again for talking with us and coming down to the art fair. Um, it's an awesome time of year, and you've got amazing drawings here. Well, thank you very much, and thanks to CTN. Hi, everyone. We are back. I am here at the Ann Arbor Art Fair 2023. We are talking with Chris, who's got some beautiful oil paintings here. Chris, welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Good to be, here. Good to be back. Good to be back. So you are from out of state. Yes. Where are you yeah, from? from Iowa. From Iowa. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And these um, oil paintings are an inspiration of sorts, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tell us about that. We have uh, daughters that live in Massachusetts and Arizona, and their families. So we like to take them on vacation when we go visit, and find all the cool places. But we usually drive and and do some sightseeing along the way, and we like to hike. So a lot of them are just places that we've been and hiked, and then. I paint kind of what it felt like to be there throughout the day with the wind blowing and the light changing and rain or no rain. <laughs> <laughs> so you must have favorites. Do you have any favorites? Or, or, or... You know, I always say the, my favorite one is the one I just finished or the one I'm going to be working on next. <laughs> um, but certain ones are very much favorites because of the places that they are. Like um, this pond and this pond and this pond are all the same pond and that one and that one and the one below it are all from the same place. Okay. So it's more about the places that I like. Okay. And then those are usually my favorites. Okay. And this is how many times have you been here to the Ann Arbor Art Fair? Uh, this is just my second year. And you, you came back so oh, you, yeah. you liked it. It was great. <laughs> yes. We love we love Ann Arbor and the people are awesome and yeah, it's a great show. Wonderful. Well, thank you, Chris. Good luck this weekend. You have beautiful, beautiful work. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it. Okay. Thanks. And stay tuned for more here at the Art Fair. Hi, everyone. My name is Ken Simpson with Ann Arbor CTN, and we are here with... Matt Coglanese, otherwise known as the Pig Shark. 
All right, Matt, so what can you tell us about, about your art you have on sale today? I have a variety of different designs and series, just kind of showcasing a little bit of everything that I do. Uh, I'm from Chicago, so obviously I can't bring all of my stuff with me, but just trying to show a little bit of everything. All right, gotcha. Yes, I see around. Uh, yeah, I see around. You have a whole lot of uh, photography mix, mix with some graphic design. So, what can you tell us about the process of you making your art pieces? Uh, I mean, it varies. I originally started out as a graphic artist, and then got introduced into photography later. Uh, so I already had that foundation underneath me before I started with the photography, and just sort of easily started blending the two together. Cool, gotcha. And I guess so. Like I know, like, like you mentioned this earlier. Earlier, this is this is this actually like your very first first Ann Arbor art fair. So, is, what 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 can you tell us tell us tell us from your other art fair experiences that that sets the Ann Arbor art fair different from other ones? Uh, to start with, this is massive. Um, there are some large ones in the Chicagoland area, which is where I mostly do the fests. Mm -hmm. But this one is massive. <laughs> All right, gotcha, for sure. All right, anything else? Anything else you would like like to share to the people of Ann Arbor? Uh, just come on down, check it out. There's a lot of artists here. We all uh, work very hard all year round to be here, and you know, just come enjoy, have a good time. All right, cool. Thanks again, Matt, and everyone. Everyone should go and check out Pig Shark at the Ann Arbor Art Fair. Bye. I'm Dana Denha, host of Ann Arbor's news magazine program, FYI. Tune in every week for new episodes featuring a variety of topics on the city and county. Island Park is a beautiful five and a half acre park along the Huron River, just north of downtown. Park visitors enjoy this quiet respite from the busy downtown where they can watch wildlife make their home along the river, relax in the shade, and peer over the park's bridges. A portion of the park is an island in the middle of the river where you'll find picnic tables, a playground, swing set, and a Greek revival style shelter built in 1914. Two additional shelters available for rent are also within the park. There is a designated boat launch area where people paddling or tubing down the river can launch or disembark safely. Visit the park's webpage to learn more about its amenities, history, and how to get there at a2gov.org parks. Hi everyone, I am here at the Ann Arbor Art Fair and we are talking to Nora, who's got some beautiful pottery. So Nora, tell us a little bit about this pottery. You made all of this. Yeah, um, so this is all high-fired stoneware and porcelain. Um, I love exploring botanical imagery and um, just... <laughs> Sorry. Like, I was going to say, like, well, where do you get your ideas? Where do you get the inspiration to do this? I come from a long line of potters in mm. uh, northern Indiana, Goshen, and South Bend area. Um, and I'm very much inspired by William Morris. So 
Okay. Just kind of geometric patterns and botanicals. Botan okay. So tell us a little bit about um, some of the work on here. Like you're doing earrings and plates. And I would say these plates are decorative or do people actually use them? They're all completely functional. Okay. They are dishwasher and microwave safe. Okay. So just trying to cover every aspect of a, of a life. Um, okay. From eating to wearing <laughs> to drinking tea and oh, okay, you got yeah. it all covered. Then. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, awesome. So tell us about this piece though, because this is pretty gorgeous. So um, how long would that have taken? Mm. So this took me about a month to complete. I'm currently in a master's program at Notre Dame, so I'm starting to build some larger pieces with um, more serious content. So this piece is called Requiem to the Soviet Breadline, and it features a photo photograph of a Soviet-era breadline, and it's surrounded with this motif of poppies to indicate um, kind of sleepiness, drowsiness, and it's uh, commentary on misinformation coming from the state. Ah, very interesting. <laughs> okay, okay. So you are, you're not from Ann Arbor, where are you from? South Bend, Indiana. Okay, so you traveled up here. This is your first time, second time, how many times have you been here? This is the first time. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, Nora, good luck this weekend. Um, you've got beautiful work, so best of luck to you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Don't go anywhere, we'll be back with more. Hi everyone, we're here at the Ann Arbor Art Fair and I am talking to Kristen, who has got some beautiful, beautiful pottery work here. And she was just explaining a little bit about it, um, that these are functional. That was something I was not aware of. Correct. So Kristen, tell yeah. us a little bit about the work that you have um, today. So everything in here is made by me with these two hands. I fire stoneware clay. It's mostly made on the wheel, but I do alter some pieces once they're removed from the wheel. They're all completely functional, dishwasher safe, and microwave safe. <laughs> <laughs> Something that, like you said, is a misnomer that yes. it's not all delicate. You can use it. So that's right. what are some of the pieces that you made that, that people can use, like this one, for example? Right, this is your wine set. You can put this wine cooler in the freezer to make it cold. You don't need ice. Start with your wine cold, you're ready to go. Okay, yeah. now do you make jewelry as well? or is this? I actually do make jewelry. I made this little turtle necklace. I make dinnerware, which is behind you. We've got full dinnerware sets from small plates up to serving plates. Okay. And you can go all one color or mix and match of all my different patterns. Aww. And tell us how long um, have you been here? At the, how many years? I would say 15 years. You've been coming here 15 years? Yes, I've probably had two years off, the first pandemic year. Mm -hmm. Well, two pandemic years, yeah. and that's it. <laughs> oh my gosh, so you come back, that's wonderful. So obviously Ann Arbor is treating you well if you're yeah. coming back. Yeah, I have a pretty good following in this area. People start a dinner set maybe with two settings and they come back and add on each year another setting or other accompaniment items like a fountain or a vase or a pitcher. So you can set your whole dinnerware with this booth. I mean, dinner plate. Dinner plate. <laughs> Let me ask, the fountains, are those um, outdoor, indoor? Both. Both, if they're outdoor, you have to bring them in the winter. Okay. The water will break them if they froze. Sure. <laughs> but okay. yeah, they can go outdoor or indoor. Birds love them. Birds love them, okay. Yeah. Well, Kristen, you have beautiful work. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for talking with me today. Hi, my name is Ken, and I'm at the Ann Arbor Art Fair, and I'm here with Jim Tucker. All right, all right. So, Jim, Jim, so what, what, what can you tell us, tell us about your booth this year? Well, I think it's kind of like an explosion of color. If you pan around, you look at some of the paintings that I have. Um, I like to paint outside. I like to get the energy of nature and the universe and God. And I throw and splatter. Then I brush. If you see the moons, those are brushed, and everything else is thrown and splattered. You can follow me on. Uh, my Instagram, paintings by Jim Tucker, or merch by Jim Tucker. I do shirts also, as you can see. He's got a beautiful one on too. But I'm inspired by just the universe and nature and God. I gotcha. All right, so Jim, so how long how long do uh, do one of these pieces actually take for you to create by any chance? Well, like the black and white one takes probably two hours, or some of the moons take three days. So it just depends on the piece. Um, I can do them fast, or sometimes they say, I'm not done yet, keep working on me, keep working on me. It, they speak to you. They let you know when they're finished. 
Gotcha. Yeah, so is this your first time at Ann Arbor Art Fest? No, I've been here, I've done the show probably eight years. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. right. And I'm from Dallas, Texas. All right, gotcha. And so what, and what would you say maybe makes the Ann Arbor Art, Art Fair stand out from other art fairs that you've been to? The, right. pa the passionate patrons, by far. This is my best show of the year, usually, because the patrons are passionate and they like to buy paintings. Gotcha. Is there anything else you would like to say to the people of Ann Arbor? Uh, come on out and enjoy the show. There's a lot of artists here. Um, it's beautiful weather this year. Um, and you can check out my clothing apparel site. It is Merch by Jim Tucker. It's soon to be called Tucker Threads or Art to Fashion is another site. And my paintings by Jim Tucker is my website. And I just like making people happy by my art, and that's my main um, goal, is to make you smile whenever you look at my work and whenever you look at my clothing. All right. All right thank you so much, Jim. Jim, and be sure to go and go, 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 check out check his T-shirts as well, because they're super breathable, and they're really nice, nice to wear, and they're also, and they make you stand out. So they, thank you so much, Jim. Uh-huh. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Hey, everyone. We're here at Uber Eats. Amazing. Everyone knows Uber Eats. And we're talking to Kennedy. And Hi. And, then, and Alexandra. Hi. Hi, guys. So tell us, this is a popular booth that we're at right now, so we're going to make this quick. But tell us what you're doing down here at the Art Fair. Yeah, so we are here with Uber Eats promoting some of our local partners that are on the app. Um, we're giving a chance to win some really, really one-in-a-lifetime prizes. They're exclusive. They're not available on any other 3P. If you just spin the wheel here, um, we got partners like Buddy's Pizza, Haymaker, Hopcat, Maze and Blue Deli. Yeah. So a lot of good things are giving away today. Awesome. Can we spin the wheel? Oh my gosh, please. All right, my cohort and I are going to spin. Ready? Ready, Ken? I'm going to go first. All right. Yay, buddies! Yay. <laughs> Ken, your turn. All right, gotcha. All right, what you get? Buy one, get one smash burger. Oh, smash yeah. burger from Hopcat. Yeah. Oh. All right, guys. Awesome. So you go ahead and Thank you. you. Can redeem those on the app. And if you Perfect. guys are not Uber One members, you get discounts off rides and eats too with Uber One. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, ladies, so much. Have fun today. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations to CTN on its 50th year anniversary. I'm Barbara Lucas, producer and host for the former CTN program Green Room. Starting in August 2010, Green Room informed Ann Arbor residents of national and local environmental issues and through expert interviews, provided tips and resources for eco-friendly living. It was an honor to host and co-produce this show that served the Ann Arbor community for over a dozen years. I really appreciate CTM for providing Ann Arbor residents the opportunity to produce their own TV programs. I hope CTM will continue this wonderful service and I'm looking forward to its 60th anniversary or even its 100th anniversary. Thanks, CTM. Ann Arbor is home to more than 150 parks. That's 150 reasons to get out and get active around town. In addition to more traditional parks, Ann Arbor has some unique amenities, like the Universal Access Playground, Ann Arbor Skate Park, and two disc golf courses, all free of charge. With all of this and more, Ann Arbor is sure to have something fun for everyone. Come out and see for yourself. Visit a2gov.org slash parks or call 734-794 6230 for more information.
Hey everyone, Melissa over here at the nonprofit area. We are talking with the Kiwanis Club of Ann Arbor, a longtime staple here in Ann Arbor. And we got some folks here excited to be here. Hello. Tell us what you're doing here. Uh, hi, well, we've got a booth here for to, to meet everybody who's at the art fair. Uh, and we're, we're telling people about our thrift sale, about membership, and about our Kiwanis Finish What Line scholarships that we offer in concert with WCC. We hope people can stop by uh, and say hello to us. Uh, plus, we have Tootsie Rolls and treats for your little dogs. So we're hoping to raise awareness of our Kiwanis sale. Um, it, takes, it takes donations. We get tons of donations every week. They, you can donate from 9 to 3. And then, we, then our sale um, uh, benefits. This, this is a, just a list, a partial list of all of the children's charities and community charities that we help with, our, with the money we raise from the sale. I'm, I'm Dave, and I've been a longtime uh, a member of Kiwanis. Um, we work the sale on Fridays and Saturdays, and uh, the money that we make, uh, we donate it to children's causes, and uh, we're looking for uh, members and volunteers. So, and we're out on Jack Jackson Road uh, across from uh, Menards off of Stabler Road. Uh, we'd certainly like to see you join us. And we're just celebrating 100 years of Kiwanis in Ann Arbor. So, you know, stop on by. Congratulations on 100 years. Thank you. Thank you all. Good luck this weekend. Up your show, I think, but... <laughs> you know, this is a great segment. You guys did awesome. We're big supporters, and good luck. All right, Thank great. We we'll hope, we'll hope we see you on a Saturday or a Friday, okay? Thank you. Right, we'll be back with more. Hi, everyone. I'm here with Santos, and he's got an awesome booth down here at the art fair. Let me borrow a hat. He's also got his hat. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So tell us how many years you've been doing this. Oh, just about 10 years or so. Oh, just yeah. about 10 years. No big deal, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So what brings you back? Well, we love the community. It's a beautiful place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do. Where did you come from? Uh, Chicago. Yeah. <gasps> Chicago. Okay. Not far, not far. No, not too bad. So tell us about... Yeah, what, what are some of the items that you are uh, selling down here? We, uh, a lot of people love our rings yeah, those are and our hats, yes. <laughs> You've got kids' hat, adult hat, adult men's hat, hats. hats. Yes. you yes. got some pretty cool bracelets. Let me ask you, did you make these? Like, uh, who, who made these? Somebody made. <laughs> you didn't make any of these. I was busy selling it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so tell us why people should come uh, visit your booth. Yes, you guys should come over and... Uh, and, and check us out. There's a lot of stuff, nice rings, bracelet, present for you, your husband, your wife, oh, whatever you love it. I was going to say, you have a... And you need to cover up your head for the sun. Oh, my gosh. I, but I say by the afternoon today, it's gonna be the hats are going to go. Yeah, we hope so. I don't want to <laughs> pack them back up. <laughs> well, I see you got kids' hats, like I said, kids, adults, men, yes, women. Women's, yes, That's everyone. Awesome. Well, thank you, Santos, for talking. Thank you, thank you. Awesome, good luck. Thank you, thank you so much. Hi, Ken Simpson here at the Ann Arbor Art Fair, and I'm here with... Alec Pennington, how are you doing? Good, good. And, and these are, and Alex are part of Sky Mint, I mean, the local dispensary in Ann Arbor, Michigan. So, Alex, what can you tell us about your booth today? Yeah, so uh, we're here with Sky Mint. We have 22 locations across all the state of Michigan. Um, we're here today just supporting local artists, uh, and we're doing a little fun giveaway. So if you sign up for our premium rewards program, you'll be able to get a Plunko Puck, Depending on where your Plunko Puck hits, you'll get any of our fun swag items today. We're doing hats, we're doing stickers, we're doing buttons, we're doing uh, peace, love, and nug lighters, a whole host of different things. And then also we have one of our uh, store team members has made a bunch of stained glass uh, that we're also displaying and will be available for purchase across a few of our store locations, um, industrial this evening, and then uh, cold water moving forward. All right, gotcha. Yes, yeah, so what, so what? So what makes Sky Mint stand out from other dispensaries in Michigan? It's a great question. So we're vertically integrated. So what we're doing is we're going basically seed to sell. So we're making it, we're producing it, we're giving it love, care, everything that it needs to come to our consumer. And that's really what we're about is providing the best cannabis experience that we can from top to bottom. All right, gotcha. Is, is there anything else you would like, like to say to the people of Ann Arbor? Ann Arbor, we love you. Hope you come down and see us.
All right, thank you guys so much. And thank you, thank you guys. Please, please be sure to check out Sky Mint Spoop Booth today at Ann Arbor Art Fair. See you guys later. Hi, my name is Ken Simpson with, with Ann Arbor CTN, and I'm here with... Mike Miller. All right, Mike. Mike, so what can you tell us about your booth today at the Ann Arbor Art Fair? Yeah, so my wife and I are artists. Uh, we actually do wooden flowers, wooden vases. All of our flowers are handmade using steam. Uh, water and then forms to shape the wood. Um, my dad actually helps me out as well with doing some of the stem work, but it's basswood, so it's a softer wood that we're working with. We've been at this for 26 years, and this is about our uh, 15th, 16th year coming down here to the Ann Arbor Art Fair. All right, cool. Yes, and with and with, with these flowers, flowers, the colors really do do pop, really do pops. I was curious how how long is the creation pro process process of one of these like sets or like bouquets actually? We what happens with our flowers because it's all a piece process. We'll um, cut a lot of petals at one time, so we'll never base it off of just one flower. Um, so it is a process of cutting, sculpting, and um, finishing the flowers with um, acrylic paint. So we never do it by one, but if you look right here at our arrangement that my wife created um, two days ago, that whole entire piece there, um, this is the maple vase here, and then the flowers, um, I mean, you're talking about several um, close to like six, 60, 70 hours worth of work into that set. Yep. Gotcha. So, um, so since since you guys got, guys are at the Ann Arbor Art Fair, so what makes the Ann Arbor Art Fair stand up from other art fairs that you guys have been worked at? It's definitely the just not only the amount of people that come out to support the arts at the Ann Arbor Art Fair, but it's um, it's the people that are actually engaged um, to that are enthused and, and basically they, they want to talk to the artists. They want to understand the process. They want to learn the process. Um, yeah, it's definitely a, 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 a really good diverse group of people that, that make this show stand out. Gotcha. Is there anything anything you would like to say to the people of Ann Arbor? Definitely, come on out to the Ann Arbor Art Fair. I know it's usually hot, there's a chance of storms, but this is the premier art fair for the United States. I'm not even kidding, we've been at this, like I said, for 26 years, and Ann Arbor never disappoints. You'll love the art. Come on out. Hi, everybody. My name is Ken Simpson at the Ann Arbor Art Fair, and I'm here with... Jenny Bowles. All right, Jenny. So what, what can you tell us about your booth we have on, have on display today? So I'm a woodworker. I'm out of Louisville, Kentucky. I make, I call these wood mosaics. So they're hundreds, if not thousands, of pieces of wood that are individually cut, sanded, beveled, and glued and pieced together to create these kind of geometric patterns. Yeah, like the pattern, the patterns are very, very visually pleasing, please for sure. So I'm just curious, curious how long, how long is the process for us to want to make a piece like one of these? It takes a while. I really enjoy um, kind of designing as much as I do building them. So, you know, sometimes I spend over a week just drawing out one design and I keep tweaking it until I really like it. And then I start, I just use graph paper and color pencils and, and just start coloring them until I like the design. And they're all one of a kind. Each one's unique and different. All right, for sure. So is this actually your first time at the Ann Arbor Art Festival? First time here. We're absolutely loving it so far. Great, great uh, crowd. It's been really well. All right, gotcha. Yes. Yeah, so like with your, with like your like amazing art, art career, what what makes what makes the Ann Arbor Art Fair stand out to you so far being here? Well, this is a. Uh, the first time we've been to a Michigan art fair, this one, it's so big. There's, you know, people are coming out to really buy handmade art. So th that's what really stands out to me. People are here. They're not just looking. They're actually buying artwork. Gotcha. Yeah. So is there anything, anything that you would like, like to say to the people of Ann Arbor? Yes, we absolutely love your city. It's so beautiful. It's so clean. We went out after we set up yesterday and drove around, and it's such a beautiful town. I love it. I'd love to move up here. <laughs> All right, gosh, you dink. Thank you so much, Jenny. Hope you have a wonderful time at Art Fair. And I'm Ken Simpson with Ann Arbor CTN, and you guys have a great day.